One of the best parts of college football every season are the non-conference matchups. There are usually a number that are the same we get every year, but there are also matchups we've never seen or haven't seen in a very long time. There are going to be a lot of fantastic non-conference matchups in 2022. Today, we're going to be talking about the ones I'm looking forward to the most. Before we get to today's video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you're watching this video, odds are that you love college football, and odds are you aren't subscribed to my channel. So make sure to subscribe to one of the best college football communities here on YouTube. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. These 12 matchups aren't ordered in any way. It's not a top 12, they're just the 12 games I'm looking forward to this year. We'll start out in week 1 with Notre Dame traveling to the Horseshoe to take on Ohio State. This is a game that will already have playoff implications as both teams are expected to be in the hunt all season. Although the schools are only 250 miles apart, this will be only the seventh matchup ever between these two storied programs. The last two meetings came in the Fiesta Bowl back in 2016 and 2006. Prior to that, they had home and homes in 1995 and 1996, along with 1935 and 1936. The Buckeyes lead the all-time series 4-2 and have won four straight games. As of right now, Ohio State is a two-touchdown favorite, so this game isn't necessarily expected to be close. But that's the beauty of college football. Anything can happen. Regardless of the outcome, it's going to be amazing seeing these two historic programs facing each other to kick off the season. The next game is one that we get in Week 2, as Alabama has the very rare non-conference road game as they travel to Texas. Seriously, this seems like a rarity watching Alabama play a non-conference team that isn't on a neutral field. Usually, whenever these two teams have met in the past, the stakes have been a lot higher. The last time they played was in the 2010 BCS National Championship game. Prior to that, they met in the Cotton Bowl a couple times, the Orange Bowl, and the Sugar Bowl. This is going to be the ninth overall meeting between the two programs and the fourth time they've played during the regular season. This matchup has gone the Longhorns' way as they lead the all-time series 7-1-1. The Tide's only win came in the last meeting, albeit probably the biggest matchup between the two teams. This will be the first time the teams have met in Austin in 100 years as the last time they played in 1922, the Longhorns picked up the victory. Everyone, including myself, thinks that Alabama is going to roll through Texas, but it'll be exciting to see if the Longhorns are able to hang. The next game is one that is in a neutral location, and I absolutely hate it. Well, a neutral location, if you want to even call it that. Oregon is going to face Georgia in Atlanta, so this is pretty much going to be a home game for the Bulldogs. This is a game that I really wish would have been at Austin Stadium instead. These two teams have met only once previously, back in 1977 as the Bulldogs picked up the victory in Athens. While Oregon played an SEC opponent as recently as 2019, Georgia hasn't played a current Pac-12 member since 2010. There will be a lot of interesting storylines as well. This will be Georgia's first game coming off a national championship. New Oregon coach Dan Lanning opens up against his former team. Former Auburn starting quarterback Bo Nix, who was 0-3 against the Bulldogs in his career, gets one final shot to beat them. Plus, this could be a massive victory for the Pac-12 in Week 1. We'll have a rematch of a really good game from last year as Oklahoma travels to Nebraska in Week 3. Last season's game was the first meeting between the two teams since the 2010 Big 12 Championship game. This one will be the first meeting in Lincoln since 2009. Oklahoma leads the all-time season series 46-38-3, and they've won 6 of the last 7. This will be a very interesting matchup for both teams. This is going to be a make or break season for Nebraska and for Scott Frost, and this is probably their biggest home game in a decade. Meanwhile, with Oklahoma, they lost so much talent in the offseason, and they have a brand new coaching staff. So, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle a road test like this one. This is one of the games I'm actually looking forward to the most on this list, because I truly have no idea what we can expect from this game. Speaking of old rivalries renewed, the backyard brawl is back, as West Virginia travels to Pitt. Both of these schools are located only 75 miles away and played consecutively from 1943 through 2011. The streak ended when the Mountaineers left the Big East for the Big 12 in 2012. Pittsburgh leads the all-time series 61-40-3, but West Virginia has won three straight and five of the last seven. This is also going to be a battle of the former USC quarterbacks. Keaton Slovis is now at Pittsburgh, and JT Daniels is now at West Virginia. 
These teams won't be competing for a playoff spot or are going to be ranked inside the top 10 for this matchup, but this is a historic rivalry that should make for some great television. Plus, it's a great opening to the start of the season, as this game is on a Thursday. Week 1 will give us another Pac-12 SEC matchup, this one actually being a true home-and-home, -home, unlike the previous one mentioned. The 2021 Pac-12 champion Utah Utes head to the Swamp to take on Florida. These two teams have met only once, which came back in 1977 when the Gators won at home. This will be the first game for new Gators head coach Billy Napier, who will lead a Florida team with a lot of question marks entering the 2022 season. Meanwhile, you have Utah, who I have as a potential playoff sleeper this year. Regardless of how good Florida is, traveling across the country to the Swamp to play the Gators is a daunting task for any team. Will Utah be able to pick up a huge victory for the Pac-12? I'm looking forward to this. Week 3 gives us a few really good matchups, including Penn State traveling to Auburn. These two schools played last season, with Penn State pulling off the victory at home. This is actually the only matchup this season between the Big Ten and the SEC. Maybe if this game was played 5 or so years ago, it would be a bigger deal, as both of these teams have underwhelmed in recent years. Still, it should be a good one as both teams are expected to be much better in 2022. I don't think either team is going to be competing in their conference this season, but this should still be a really competitive game. Another great Week 3 matchup is Miami at Texas A&M. This will be the fourth matchup between these two programs. They met back in 2007 and 2008, both wins by Miami. A&M's lone win came all the way back in 1944. This will be quite the early season test for new Hurricanes coach Mario Cristobal. There will be a lot of expectations for both of these programs in 2022 as they've underwhelmed recently. Will Tyler Van Dyke be able to go into College Station and escape with the victory? Or will Jimbo Fisher's team be able to pick up the home victory as they hope to keep their potential playoff hopes alive? We have another ACC-SEC matchup, this one coming in the first week of the season as Florida State travels to LSU. This will be the 10th matchup between these two programs, but they haven't played each other in over 30 years. Florida State leads the all-time series 7-2 and has won 4 straight games. This will be Brian Kelly's first game as the head coach for LSU. Both of these teams are some of the historically great programs in college football history, but not as of late. Florida State has had four consecutive losing seasons, the first time that's happened since the early 70s. Meanwhile, LSU is coming off their first losing season since 1999. Well, the positive is that one of these teams is going to have to start the season 1-0. This next matchup is a sneaky good one, as Coastal Carolina travels to Virginia. This one comes late in the season, as they'll play in Week 12. The Chanticleers have been one of the better group of five teams over the last few years, as they've gone 22-3. Now, they get a chance to travel on the road and play a really good ACC team. This is going to be their only Power 5 opponent on their slate, so it's going to be a huge test for Coastal. Plus, it's going to come at the end of the season, meaning they could still be undefeated up to that point. The quarterback battle in this game will be incredible as well, as we'll get Grayson McCall versus Brendan Armstrong. I think the Cavaliers will be in the hunt for the ACC, not that losing this game will impact their chances, but this will certainly be huge for them as it'll likely be a top 25 matchup. A fun one will be in October when Arkansas travels to BYU. The Cougars have been one of the better teams in college football over the last few years, and they have a really difficult schedule in 2022 this being one of their toughest matchups. Arkansas really burst onto the scene last season and emerged as one of the better teams in the entire SEC. They'll have a lot of tough matchups in their conference this year, but this could be a huge win for the Razorbacks to add to their resume. The same could be said with BYU. They have one of the tougher schedules in the entire country, so a win over Arkansas could significantly help their potential playoff case. We'll wrap this up with Notre Dame, who comes up on this list again. They could have been mentioned a few other times, but I'm highlighting their matchup with USC in the final week of the season. These two teams play every year, but this could be only the second matchup since 2010 in which both teams are ranked inside the top 25. Notre Dame might need a win to secure a spot in the college football playoff. USC might be in the playoff hunt as well, and picking up a victory against the Irish could be huge for their resume. With this matchup being at the Coliseum, this game could turn into the biggest USC home game in quite some time with all the hype surrounding this team entering 2022. Well, those are the non-conference games I'm looking forward to the most this upcoming season. Which game are you most excited for in 2022? Was there a non-conference matchup that I didn't include that should have been on this list? Let me know in the comment section down below, and I just might make a part 2 with all of the games you guys suggest. Before you leave, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to my channel. If you love college football, then this is definitely the place for you. Also, make sure to drop a like on this video as well. It helps out with that YouTube algorithm and helps share the video with more college football fans. Plus, it only takes a second to do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.